got back from camping two days ago. And Russell started pulling down all the old gardening fence and gate and pollinated garden and we're going to be breaking down the beds because we're moving everything up the hill. I'll show you some other time. This garden has seen better days. It went from flourishing the first year to barely producing its fourth year. The trees surrounding the area took over and started shading everything. And then of course the rains kept coming in and pounding the garden. This is what's left of it. If I can find some old footage, I'll post a, a pic of what it looked like before. We are in the process of moving everything to its new location up the hill, and I will show you that when we get there. It's removing some of the rock. And we're going to put it up the hill where we park our tractor and our Kubota because we're not going to use it at all in the brand new garden. We're going to put mulch on the pathways instead. And right now there's fabric cloth between the ground and the rock. So he pulls the fabric cloth back, mounds up the rock as you can see. And he's skimming the rock off the top. All the weeds are staying in the fabric cloth. I do not suggest using fabric cloth at all. Let's go follow him up the hill. He's already removed over half of the boxes that were in this garden, taking the fence down. As you can see the debris laying everywhere. Now he's leveling it out as he goes, so it's not an overwhelming task. We're doing bite-sized pieces. We take a little bit of this one down, and go up the hill, and build a little bit of that one. That way, they're both being done. It's not a real huge mess at either end. And then the rocks, he's dispersing up the hill where we park our tractor, our Kubota, and my cart, my Coleman. We're going to use mulch in the pathway at the top of the garden. five beds left to fill up, three to build. So we have two down the hill, or up the hill, that we still have yet to stake and prep for the dirt, soil, whatever you want to call it. Doing a wonderful job leveling it off. There's nothing left. We have the bird map over there that we gotta move. And we are thinking about relocating that lamp being as we have one right here. Check it out. 
out. They're going to love them bugs. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you haven't seen people mow their lawns before. I just wanted to show you that there is no more garden. It is gone. Everything that we needed is up the hill. And everything that we're throwing away piled up way back there for now. Although my tomato cages are still sitting over here. I have to go through those yet. But this area... It literally grew up in two weeks. Two weeks, guys. That's what a little bit of rain will do for you. Ask me if I miss it. Yes, I do. It's so quiet back here. I'm not just let my cheekies out. Now I'm going to be up the hill and I will be able to play with them. Yeah, they, they could probably wander up the hill to come find me, but a hawk can come and get them just at the same time. Well, I can't be having them. they my babies. So that's the last of the garden. Give me the last of the long grass. Go up the hill, I'll show you 